All right, we are freaking knee deep in weird dimension, awkward dimensions, part two or whatever, or redo. Um, and yeah, there's gonna be emotions at the end of this. I mean, they got the basics of it, right? Right? Literally, wait. I just keep bouncing sometimes. I don't know why. Uh-oh. Can I climb up these or something? What do the yellow mean? In, in, uh... I never beat Mirror's Edge. I think I got it in PlayStation Plus or something? Um, I never beat it. It did seem good. I mean, it's known to be good. But, uh, I never did finish it all the way. I think it was one of those hour trial things. I used to play those. Do, do they still make those? Like, do they still do hour trials for games? I don't really... I have so many games that I don't really... I don't check out demos too much anymore. Oh. Is this the end of the thing? He wakes up in his room. He's like, oh. I had a weird dream that I made an edgy game about teens. Huh? Corporations. Girlfriend? Uh. Awkward dimension redo off. <laughs> I meant to split that into another video, but I guess I was done. Aw, oh, mom and dad. Lots of people going by too fast for me to read. DU Game Developer Society. I kind of wish that I had gone like a game dev route, but then I hear lots of problems with game dev stuff, and it's like, I got a pretty safe job. I would like to do this full time, this like running my website, my YouTube, you know, freelance, write, review, stuff like that, I would prefer to do, but I'm pretty safe in my job, so. Plus, I don't think I would want to talk about games if I also made games, like, I think I'd do this because, you know, I, I wouldn't want, like, my whole life... Well, I mean... I don't know. I wouldn't want two jobs, effectively, both involving games. I would I would burn out. But, um... That's kind of why I want to, you know, switch from my day job, is then I would have time for other hobbies that are, you know, like writing and stuff. Is that the... Oh. So this is developer commentary. I'm not going to play the whole thing. My dreams. Like, was he actually a kid when he made this? Like, that that ten year old was that actually him? Because this is pretty impressive. If like this is actual edgy teen game thing, I insulted a little bit, but you know, overall was pretty cool. And I mean, it's awkward dimensions, right? It's not you know well composed dimensions. You know, I, 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 you know, obviously the dank meme machine. There was some intent be behind there. I'm not seeing commentary. I wish more games would do what Valve used to do with their developers commentary for like, uh, uh, Portal and Half-Life. Did they make a full developers commentary for Half-Life 2? I know they did for the lighthouse thing. What was that? Oh, it is. It is exactly. This it's exactly the develop the valve thing. Oh, except it's words. Indie Five had just come out at the time, and I wanted to mess around with the new features being advertised in the trailer. I was working on a game called Ultra Dance Murder, but I wanted to take a break. Next morning, I woke up from the most vivid dream, which is what you see here. Sometimes I wonder how my subconscious comes up with stuff, like the handwriting pun, for example. Dreams are their own perfect systems. What do you mean, handwriting pun? Oh, it's just chicken scratch is the handwriting pun, I guess. Oh, there's no way out. I'll read one more developer node. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Uh, this is free on Steam. I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, but yeah, if you want to play this, it's free on Steam, and uh, you can check it out in full. I'm not sure if there's a place like... Uh, on Itch.io, you can usually... Um, Toss the developer a few bones if you want to, which is a really cool feature. Um, I wish I wish everything had that, cause like, you know, if you enjoy a game so much, you would just want to give them support, and they don't have a patron or anything. Um, that can be really nice. 
Um, it can be a way to say, I'm sorry if you pirated a game. Um, or I've had some people say that, like, you know, they really liked a game that I played, and they would like to give the developer a little money, uh, but they don't want to buy it because, you know, they don't want games they're never going to play. Or, um, you know, they don't want to pay the full price of the game. And I'm like, hey, you can just go on Itch.io and give the developer some money, and that's pretty cool. And you can even give them a little message, um, I believe. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, as you might know, I'm an actor as well as a game developer, and I was through John and the clandestine marriage. I'd always be very early to rehearsal on one day. I had a dream. A pair of disembodied legs would chase me backstage at the black box. I hear the Joe Craft Theater. Remember, has the ghost decided in the black box to be the blah 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 stage theater's pitch black? One of the original 70 FPS levels sound. Huh. Funny thing about design 90% of players would be lost if it weren't for the exit sign attracting focus and automatically pointed open door on trigger. It was fun to put the game. The game mechanic of progressing to the next level via door on his head because it was a safe concept for the player. To take it away really puts them in my headspace when I'm backstage alone. Fun fact, each level has a door. At least one. Yeah, that that is definitely true. Um, the game's kind of messy. would be pretty messy without the door. Wait, door is not. It, it can really help to um, you know signpost some stuff for players. All right, Mr. Spooky Man. I need to see Mr. Spooky Man one more time. Is he behind me? He's usually behind me. Mr. Spooky Man, I miss you. Come into my life, please. Oh, is this the door that unlocks him, maybe? No. There's a specific door he first appeared after. The, that sound is kind of reminding me of, um... What's his face? Oh, there's Mr. Spooky Man! Um, it reminds me of the sounds you hear when Gigas is appearing. Alright, I need one more Mr. Spooky Man hit. Where is he? He looks like a horror character that- it looks like if, um, the Amanita design people made a horror character. That's what he looks like. I kinda want a horror game made by them. It would be- like, they could make a crazy horror game. Like, it would be awesome. It doesn't really seem like their style, but I really think they could make some really good horror characters. Hi, oh, yeah, Mr. Spooky Man. <laughs> he just keeps pestering you. I guess that's the ghost. Yeah, that, 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 the commentary is actually pretty cool. Um, despite me mocking the teen angst levels. Yeah, this was pretty cool. This has been Awkward Dimensions Redo. And, uh, oh, I didn't see him that time. Oh, there he is. He just kind of spooks up to you, doesn't he? He's just going to sit here. He disappears when you look at him, I guess. Oh. Relax in North Berwick. Alright, but yeah. This has been that. Oh, let's read one more node. This is by far my favorite dream. It's the dream. It's the dream to go back to this moment in my life. One of the happiest moments of my life. Maybe it wasn't just the place, North Berwick, a place in Scotland. But, but the people at my DSA, home away from home, were there for only a little while. But for the hour, I, I, felt, I felt time stand still. And when leaving North of Berwick, I'd feel it slip. But this is my best attempt at visiting for as long as I'd, I'd like whenever I like. This was an original level of the prototype. Oh, that's cool. I almost did a trip to um, Germany. Like, that was kind of like the fourth year thing in uh, for German in high school. Um, I didn't end up take... I didn't end up doing three years of, or four years of high school, though. I graduated early, so... Um, so, I'm not sure I would have actually done that again, because I think I would have just stuffed in as much AP stuff, um, advanced placement stuff, took in as much time off of college as I could have by doing that, and then things would have been a bit easier. I would have had less to do in college, um, and then I would have been, I wouldn't have been as young in college, and you know, I'm gonna hang around my high school friends longer. I, I, I think... I'm not sure it was a mistake, but I'm not sure it was something I would have done. Especially because the group, I did the scholarship thing, and I'll just open this for you. Um, I did the scholarship thing for, you know, other early graduating people. Um, I figured there would be, you know, a bunch of cool nerds like me that, you know, like games and stuff and are cool. And the, they just kind of worked. I didn't like those people. 
I ended up, I figured I would like have a free group of friends, and like I got paired up with this complete fucking asshole, like awful human being. What a dick. Um, that was my roommate, and so I was bouncing, my first room, my first year, um, for the first couple months, I was, like, bouncing around. Well, I mean, it was mostly the first month, but I bounced around twice until I finally found, um, another guy who was, um, just, uh, just another cool, nerdy guy that I, uh, he had, he had some pretty cool friends that were other gamers, and, uh, we had a pretty good time. Uh, all in all, you know, I found, I found the right place, but... I figured I would be getting a kickstart, and it's like, didn't really happen. So yeah, that, that, that kind of sucked in some ways, but uh, life's not perfect, and it's, you know, jumpstart way to learn that life isn't perfect. Anyway, I think this is like the third time I've tried to end this video, but yeah. Um, Flypool doesn't actually has... The, the flagpole doesn't have the Scottish flag, it just has the word hello, which I thought was weird at the time. However, it's a friendly place and it's it's a reminder of friendly and this is it gives the impression of a safe space. Where's the... Oh, I didn't see the flag that says hello. Let's see that flag real quick. And then we can end our dream. Yeah, I didn't notice the flag at all. <laughs> there it is! Hello! Hi! Well... That has been Awkward Dimensions Redo. What a nice beach. Beaches are so much nicer when you can't smell the dead fish.